Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Strange, strange weekend. Good and bad, a lot of bad. So this is Sunday. Yesterday I was observing the Sabbath. Good food, good ital, vegan soul food, good music. Yeah, you're right. Did a little studying of Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism. I also studied Christian mysticism very interesting stuff and then all of a sudden chaos broke out in the holy land yeah you're right not so much yeah you're right but that's what's going on right now I feel for everybody involved all the innocent people lots of bad stuff but here we are where we're at decent not bad or is it let's see let's catch some fish so this is one of my favorite river camps for fall it's not my camp however i did build that fire pit right there we're in an anchorage check it out look how calm the water is almost no wind and yes it is green it is brownish green it is very salty i brought three rods and there are three different rods we've got this one here with 20 pound test on it we're going to do a particular type of rig a really easy peasy dropper loop rig we want a good amount of tag in to start with and we're going to do a loop here this is not like a legit official dropper loop this is just easy peasy broke rig type dropper loop we are going to do an overhand knot once boom there we go not much of a loop and then we're going to do an overhand loop twice and we want to cinch it up essentially in the same location there we go we're going to do that a third time and call it good there is a more serious real way to do a dropper loop but this is easy peasy on the spot works just fine there we go and we'll put our lead on here so here we go we've got three of these to work with at the moment two ot kales by eagle claw pretty decent size for what we think we might catch out here right because we're going to start off with shrimp but we do have night crawlers and we will use night crawlers on this as well but shrimp to start river's very salty calling it the saltwater wedge right that's not necessarily right in front of me quite yet but soon it will be however doesn't mean that we have fresh water in front of us so what we're doing is we're pinching the loop and we want to get it through the eye it can be a little frustrating at times depending on the size of the eye and <laughs> finally so now that we have the loop through the eye we're going to put the hook through that loop on the other side of the eye it's called a cow hitch let's go with two ounces of lead because we're going to fish close in off the rocks i want my lead line at least double the length of the loop if not a little better bang we're ready before I put the shrimp out let's put a piece of this out I'm gonna put this piece of bluegill on a six octopus with steel leader as you see four ounces of lead 80 pound braid slipping and sliding there River is still really low, but it's not too looking too bad for this location. I think we're going to be all right. We're not going to have any issues because of that. So because I've fished this spot before, I know where to cast this and where not to cast it. I cast it slightly to the left, which is up river. 
even though I got fours and there's not a lot of current because the river is low, like I said, I do expect a bit of a drift, but I definitely don't want to cast to the right with this braid or cast straight right out in front of me to where I'm going to drift too far to the right because there's something out there that cuts braid. Mono is fine, but will get cut eventually. There is a snag out here somewhere, but yeah braid is the worst thing to have around it so as long as we stay keep over here as long as we do it just right we will be fine but we're going to go ahead and engage my bait runner make sure i have a decent drag maybe a little less there that's great little resistance but he can take line So this is shrimp I caught a few days ago before the weekend, well, at the beginning of the weekend. Very close in for the moment. That's not very far at all. We're fishing over rocks and mud right there. Oh, we're gonna open the bail. I saw a hit or something on the big rod, so we'll just watch two rods. Maybe we'll fish a third. What's going on with this one? This is a medium light Okuma onesie with 10 pound test mono on it. We have a succulent jig, avocado chartreuse, and a popping cork or, you know, a jigging cork. Oh, let's get this in. We got, look at this. Put that down. I don't feel much of a fight, but there is something here. Haven't seen a hit on the shrimp. Well, I haven't had a hit on the succale bait yet either. I think later uh, I'll switch to something white and silvery in case there's white bass. Also, I expect stuff like ladyfish, white trout, possibly specks. Little gaff top. Yeah, you're right. Once this water cools off, we won't see these. It is still pretty warm. Could see fog if I stay out late tonight, which I did not bring the big lights. I'm just out here with just what I brought. Got a headlamp with me. So this is a sunset session. I think later we're definitely going to see fog because this river's in the mid to low 80s right now and it's going to get down to the 50s at some point probably late what much much later right in the wee hours of the morning it'll be in the 50s but it's 72 right now so definitely once we dip below 72 tonight we're probably going to see fog it might be horns out here vikings all over right but we might be gone I just discovered why I wasn't seeing a bite on the shrimp. There was no bait there. It was probably a big part of the reason. At the moment, I don't really see a big reason, or let's call it an encouragement, to keep casting this. So I'm going to put this rod to the side as an afterthought, because we might see some encouragement roll in here. If we start seeing activity off these rocks, like sometimes I see when the sun is going down, I will start working that to see what what that is busting bait off the rocks because that'll happen here see how slow this ship is coming in leads me to wonder 
if he's going to anchor right in front of us because there is a spot he could anchor right in front of us or he could keep going but he's kind of cutting it at an angle coming this way slightly possible very possible that he's coming in here or he's getting out of the way to pass somebody coming down but here comes a crew boat just have to wait and see LaCroix yeah you might be coming in here seems kind of obvious at this point something else seems more obvious though look at this so it was one of two things either he's coming in here or he's getting out of the way for something to pass he's getting out of the way of carnival glory He is coming in here. There goes our view. Sometimes when these ships come in here like this right in front of me, it'll seem like they're about to be in my lap. It's like, how much closer is it gonna get to us? It's still got slack on its anchor line. So it's just going to drift for a while. Hopefully it doesn't end up in my lap. There's a crew boat coming up to it. So far, not the craziest session, not very good. Getting bites, seems like small fish. The shrimp has been getting bites. Maybe this ship coming in is slowing things down, but it wasn't crazy to begin with, but we are getting closer to sunset. So things should be picking up at least the back end of the ship is not in front of me it's a good ways away but we do have a back end over here on ultra bulk kind of close but they're not running their engine but you can hear their generator once 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 it's here for a bit things will calm down and the bites should pick up but will the sizes pick up we did have a bit of a cold front come in last night got as cold as 64 much cooler it's going to get much cooler tonight in the 50s that could have something to do with it not a crazy one though tonight is crazier than last night it'll it'll do something but we should be able to catch another fish hopefully right finally we got a fish on the shrimp been fishing this close in and just been going through the shrimp. I've got plenty of shrimp, but I've been going through a lot. This is not a catfish, I don't think. Let's see what we got here. Ho, ho, ho. Got us a rat red. Yeah, you're right. That is not a keeper at all. That's why we call it a rat red. Might be getting a bite. I saw something on that line, but here we go. Thought we'd get this here on the shrimp that can go back we are just now around sunset i think it may have already happened i can't see it's behind these trees somewhere i wasn't planning on staying very long but it seems like right as we're getting close to that hour where i might think about leaving we're catching a fish because it's not crazy yet we got now oh a little more fight all of a sudden thought we were hooked up with something small like a small rat red this is a little bigger we could could get a bull red or a keeper right i'm not sure what we have here but yeah last minute here it's starting to get interesting all right this is another another rat red just a little bit better than the first one let's take a look 
people are catching bigger reds than this in the river but a lot of people up this way above where the saltwater wedge is they're getting this size last week that's what i was getting at night and here at sunset hold on what are, what is going on with this hook i'm gonna have to use two hands here yeah you're right not a keeper but a nice fish nice fish to catch I actually have caught bull reds in this anchorage here just not this year and I I'm not ruling it out for this year I think there's still a big possibility of it this year very big possibility Wow look at this you see all that up there the fishing it has not been crazy for this video but the amount of dragonflies around me, there's got to be 30 of them or more. Pretty crazy. So, yeah, it's always cool to catch redfish in the river. It hasn't been a crazy video. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm trying to close this video out with line still out. I'm trying to close it out while I still have the light because I want to hang out a little longer but have a outro with the good light and we had a bite here massive slack line so yeah not oh what's going on over here oh 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 gotcha i think there's a fish on this other one but maybe not Maybe at the very end, it's a crazy video. I don't know. This fish feels sizable, but I think he's lying to me because I think he's up against the drop off. I'm going to ease him up a little bit. I had this bait really far out. Okay, he's at the drop off. I'm just going to let him. Fuck. I want to let him do it himself because I've already lost a fish this afternoon. Oh, there we go. I lost a fish bringing them up that drop off it may have just been a gaff top that i lost so it's not much to cry about okay he's over the drop off still feels okay this is not a big fish but this is a little better than the first the the first gaff top I wanted to do that outro before I lost the light and just keep fishing, but I'm, that light is going fast. Almost up here with this fish. What do we got? I mean, I felt head shakes the whole time, so I'm, I'm thinking it's totally a catfish. Ah, it's just a better looking gaff top, but yeah not super huge i've caught them much bigger than this but that is a good size definitely much better than what i pulled out in the beginning of this lame video but you know what's worse no fish at least there's four in this video four fish and about 30 to 40 dragonflies nice Lost the audio. Camera got knocked off into time warp. Here we are, catching a nice red. Fighting pretty good too. Got him up on the rocks now. Biggest one of the session. Yeah, you're right. Nice looking red. Still in time warp here. Too many mosquitoes. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs>